Question seven, find the equation line that goes through these two points. Um, obviously I can take this through the step where I find the slope and then use that slope value um, and one of the points to figure out the y-intercept. I'm going to take the other approach. I'm going to use this new uh, method that we discussed where we're solving a system of equations. So for example, we're going to plug both of our points into the equation of a line. And um, when I plug in the points, I'm going to be left with two things, our, our parameters. right? We're going to be left with m and b. Um, and we can solve that system of equations to figure out what those parameters are. So in the first system, I would write negative 5, that's for y, equals m times negative 5 for x, and then uh, plus some value of b. Um, and then for the other point, again, I'm just taking, I'm plugging in the, the x and the y, the x and the y. So my other equation would be negative 1 equals m times 5 and then plus b. So when you look at this, this is a system of equations and it's actually very well set up for eliminations. Although we, we typically reorder things, but when you look at it, if I go ahead and add equal things to equal things, I end up getting that this, right, these will cancel out because I've got a negative 5m and a positive 5m. So let's go ahead and combine those. When I do, I get negative 6 over on the left hand side and on the right hand side I get 2 times b. That means b, if I divide both sides by 2, b is negative 3. So all of a sudden I know what my y-intercept is. It's negative 3. And in order to figure out the slope, I'm just going to take that and plug it into either one of the equations. Um, I guess I'll, I'll just randomly decide to use this one. So I'm going to grab this equation and I'm going to plug in the value of b that I found and solve for m, my slope. So I'll write down that negative 1 uh, equals m times 5 and then minus 3. Okay, so I, again all I did was I replaced b in this equation with the b that I just found. So instead of writing b plus b I wrote the plus the negative 3 that b was. I, I'll add 3 to both sides. When I do that, I get 2 is equal to 5m. I just changed the order of those. And if I divide both sides by 5, I get 2 fifths is the value of my slope. So my slope is 2 fifths, and my y-intercept is negative 3. So the equation of this line is y equals 2 fifths x minus 3. Again, this is not how we've been solving systems of equations. It's kind of a new new technique we landed on in this chapter, but um, I kind of like it. It's allowing me to practice system solving systems of equations uh, um, and figure out the equation of lines at the same time. I would grab my calculator if I were you and plug in the x, verify that you get the correct y's for both of the points, uh, just as a check.